I'm Sanja Casperi. I am the program director and instructor over the medical assisting program here at the Appalachian campus. The purpose of the virtual open house is so students can get an idea of what it's like to be in the medical assisting lab um, and kind of get a firsthand taste, so to speak, of what our students see on a day-to-day -day basis when they are coming into class. And so you can get this visual right at the comfort of your own home. Medical assisting is an allied health profession for students who are interested in working in the healthcare field that want to learn both administrative and clinical skills in an ambulatory healthcare setting, which would be your doctor's offices, urgent cares, uh, medical laboratories, surgery centers. Medical assisting is very fast paced. Uh, medical assistants are multifunctional, meaning that they can um, perform skills in the front office, the administrative components of a doctor's office, as well as the clinical, the back office components of a doctor's office. So because they are multifunctional uh, in their skill set, they are very highly sought after. The medical assisting profession is expected to grow much faster than average, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. So that's very good uh, in regards to job opportunities for medical assistants. The jobs are out there and they are in high demand. I would say the number one attribute for anyone who is interested in going into the medical assisting profession is wanting to help others. Students need to be dedicated, they need to be flexible, they need to be empathetic, um, they need to have good communication skills. All of those attributes are very important for anyone who is interested in becoming a medical assistant. The medical assisting program at Chattahoochee Technical College is accredited by KHEP through the Medical Assisting Education Review Board. And what's so important about having that accreditation is students who complete the medical assisting program through um, Chattahoochee Tech, well, it shows employers that you have achieved a high level of learning by achieving your psychomotor and effective competencies, and it makes you more marketable in the field. The lab space here in the medical assisting lab at the Appalachian campus is designed to mimic what an actual doctor's office would look like. So students really get a real world experience when they're in this MA simulation lab. Students who begin the medical assisting program at the Appalachian campus, we have one start every year, which is in the fall. Students who are accepted into the program can complete their program of study in three semesters. So they would begin their program of study in the fall and they would complete their program of study in the sum during the summer semester. The program is considered full time for students. We do offer traditional classroom learning face to face while other coursework can be completed online via our distance learning platform utilizing Blackboard. During the student's final semester in the program in the summer, they will have to complete an externship component where they are placed in a clinical setting and they take all of the hands-on skills and knowledge that they have learned throughout the program and then transition to a clinical setting and perform those hands-on skills in a doctor's office or other ambulatory type setting. Students during their last semester in the program, they are eligible to sit for their certification exam through the AAMA, which is the American Association of Medical Assistants, to become certified a certified medical assistant. Students who are interested in applying to the medical assisting program can go to the college's website under medical assisting and if they scroll down we have some upcoming application sessions for students to attend students who are even just interested in learning a little bit more about medical assisting can attend the application sessions just by attending an application session does not mean that they you know that you necessarily have to apply for the program but 
regardless whether a student just wants to learn a little bit more about the program or they're ready to apply for the program itself, they must attend an application session. Students who have any questions regarding the medical assisting program can certainly reach out to me via email or by phone, or you can also reach out to one of the health sciences advisors here at the college. For more information about the medical assisting program, you can visit our program homepage.